Hello and welcome to bead making part four, baking, painting, and assembling. So when you're done, you should have something that look kind of like this. Now last time we took our stuff, we, we set our oven to 250 degrees and we put our beads in the oven. Now this, you don't have to do it, it's optional, but I set mine for two hours. And uh, that's after I let mine dry out for a day. It depends uh, if you want to bake them, you can, or if you just want to let them dry out for a couple days, that's fine too. But baking is a little quicker. So when you have all your stuff, you're going to need also some paint, acrylic or nail polish, some string, some sandpaper, and uh, a little pokey stick. So there's my sandpaper, that's 180 grit. And I'm gonna use this to kind of clean up the edges. And I'm gonna use my pokey stick to clean out the holes for the string, just like this. Now this one's pretty good, so I can put it off to the side. Now this one has some rough edges, so I'm gonna be cleaning it out. I can use my poking tool, I can use my sandpaper to get in there and smooth up the edges. But uh, you still gotta be a little bit careful so that you don't break your, your pieces. Uh, this one's pretty tough though, it's pretty thick, so I'll just spend a little time on it. And get all my pieces sanded. Nice and neat. Now it's time to paint. I'm gonna clear up my area and notice I put down a new sheet of paper in case I get paint on uh, my working surface. And make sure to shake up your paints. If you've got nail polish or even acrylic, shake them up before you use them. And the cool thing about nail polish is it comes with its own brush inside the lid. So you don't have to use your artist's brushes now, for this one, I'm going to do a whole coat of gold paint on it. Uh, I might come back over it with some other colors later, or I might just leave it gold, but I'm just going to get started here. And when I get to a point where I can't uh, touch it anymore because it's all got it's all covered with wet paint. I will move on to another piece. So there we go. This one's about ready. Let it sit and wait. I'll work on another piece. Now I'm not going to make all of these gold, but some of them will have gold on them and some of them will be predominantly other colors. I'm going to make the shell a nice purpley violet hue. And my eagle or thunderbird is going to have a bluish stone kind of look with gold around the edges there. You see, I went ahead and fast forwarded. There's some of my beads. There's my shell. Let's take a look at this one. I like how that one turned out. This one, I just kept it all gold looking. Now that it's dry, you can see on both sides, it looks pretty nice. Make a separate one out of that. This one turned out pretty good too. I like how that one ended up looking. Now my arrowhead, I went for a different look here. I wanted it to look kind of old, so I did not paint it with gold. And I'm gonna get out my string now, whatever kind of string you have. Make sure that it's big enough to go around your whole head and leave a little bit of extra room. And when you've got that, find the middle of your string, and pinch it together so it can go through the hole. Now I've got a loop on this side. I'm gonna put both ends of my string through that and pull it. There we go. Now I've got a piece of string that goes 
all the way to the left halfway and the other one goes to the right and I've laid out my beads in the order I want to put them on the string so I'm gonna go ahead and put on a white bead first next will be the red bead and you might need some help from a paper clip or something like that to get your thread hole clean put the thread through there or the string there we go, a white bead, a red bead, a bear claw. Now it may not look like I painted these, but I actually did. I wanted them to look not entirely white, but I mixed a little bit of brown in there to make it an off-white. It seemed like that was more the color of the bear claws I saw in people's uh, regalia. All right, there we go, I got a yellow bead, and then one more bear claw here. See, I just poke it in there with my paper clip. All right, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side now. I'll speed that up. There we go. Now I tie the ends together, and I can loop it around my neck. So that's what it looks like when it's finished. I hope you ended up with something that you like. Maybe you have some leftover pendants you could keep or give away. I hope you have fun. And I can't wait to see what you make. Bye for now.